Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're here to check out a brand new song from the band Trivium. Now, uh, a few days ago, they just released a new song called Phalanx, and uh, yeah, it's from their upcoming album, uh, In the Court of the Dragon, and apparently this song was actually written during the Shogun era of the band, so uh, probably about 12, 13 years ago. So yeah, this is super exciting to hear. Um, I've never heard this song before. Um, I do love a lot of songs from the Shogun era. Uh, matter of fact, that's one of my favorite albums from the band. It's not my favorite, um, but it's one of my favorites. Um, but I really do love uh, that album. The, the guitar work on that album was amazing. The drums, the vocals, the guitars, the bass, everything was just amazing about Shogun, but yeah. By the way, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, make sure you like the video, let me know down below what you think of Trivium and their new song, Phalanx. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to be uh, watching and reacting to the official music video. Um, I'll try to have the official music video up, but I don't know if I get blocked or not. But if not, I'll just have a still image. But if you guys do see a video, then they were cool and they let me do it. So anyway, we're starting in three, two, one, go. Wait, starting in three, two, one.
Very nice. So yeah, that was Trivium with their new song, Phalanx. Um, really interesting. Um, and some of the footage you see in the video, if you guys do see the video, is from the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, but yeah, um, really interesting. Um, so yeah, um, this was uh, their new song, Phalanx. And uh, s knowing that I know it was written uh, mostly during the Shogun era, it m makes me wonder what the song would sound like with Travis on it and uh, Matt being like um, 12, 13 years younger. Uh, it makes me just wonder what uh, it would sound like um, if they did finish the song and they did release it out back then. Um, and it also makes me wonder how many other songs did they write back then that didn't make the album? Because we do know uh, Silence in the Snow, um, that was another song that was written during that era that they released later. and now we got this song so that's really cool um hopefully they have some more uh treats uh in the uh backlog that uh they'll dust off and uh release one day but yeah really good song um i could definitely tell and hear the uh um it has that vibe from back in the day um that uh, Trivium was known for if you listen to them back then but um really good I, I really noticed that uh, uh, in the song Matt had a lot of vocal dynamics and I absolutely loved it and vocal dynamics I mean from if you listen to Shogun uh, Matt does a lot of interesting things with his voice that isn't just screaming or shouting but like really interesting singing vocal choices that he does and he actually used it in this song and that was really nice also loved uh the aggressive uh singing vocals um because you haven't really heard that in trivium songs um since i want to say you haven't heard it like normally since like uh Vengeance Falls. I know they had like a few songs in um, Silence in the Snow, um, but it really wasn't the same, especially since Matt was recovering from blowing his voice out. But uh, and then the other albums after that just weren't quite the same as the old trivia. Not saying they were bad, just vocally, Matt wasn't doing what he was doing back in the day, and we know why, but um, it, it just really like how uh, he sounded in the song um, um, he just sounds really good in the song and I hope hopefully on this album and also their future albums they have more vocal dynamics like what he's doing in this song um, but yeah really good um, now um, there was a, was a really cool highlight to the song like the really heavy riff part um, I'm pretty sure you guys know it. Uh, they did it like uh, a few times uh, during the song and uh, it was really good. Um, um, sonically, it's also a really good uh, technical song by them, but uh, the song wasn't as catchy as some of their other songs. Um, they do have a lot of uh, heavy songs, but they also do have songs that are heavy that are catchy, and this really wasn't one of them. Not saying every song needs to be, but it was just something I noticed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to listen to this uh, quite a bit more, and uh, I'll just listen to it more, and then it'll probably grow on me more. Um, but yeah, so far, out of the three singles from the album, I, I don't know if I prefer this song or the previous one feast of fire because that was a really good one too matt singing that was absolutely amazing and beautiful and it was just so perfectly done um and the court of the dragon was also good but um i'm kind of leaning more to feast of fire and this song um but uh let me know what do you guys think of it uh do you guys prefer in the Court of the Dragon, Feast of Fire, or Phalanx? Let me know down below. Um, also, before I end the video, absolutely uh, great 
4k cameras use the video looks so amazing like they're in so like high def it looks they look amazing um but yeah let me know what you guys thought of it and be sure to pre-order the album if you guys want i'll be sure to link the original video down in the description and also the link to where you can pre-order and buy the album and yeah hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys next time later guys